Hey everybody, it's Max from Neon Space. I wanted to make a quick tutorial today to dive into Chicken Derby's new beta that just came out. It just became playable, so let's try and mess with our chickens and go for some races here. We're gonna start off by going over to the Chicken Derby website and logging in with our wallet. So we wanna start off by naming our chickens here something unique. So I'm gonna come over to the uh, naming website here. There's a tutorial how to uh, have a link I'm just going to click on that link and then sign into my MetaMask wallet again. Once I sign in here, it's going to basically take me to my chicken coop page. And here I can see my chickens. Uh, and There it is, the one I haven't named yet. So I'll click on that. And in the top left hand corner, there's a uh, name my chicken option. Here I'm going to type in a unique name. It has to not already be taken. If it is, it'll kick up an error. And uh, once I choose a name, I'm going to uh, assign the name and then MetaMask will pop up with a transaction. This time it worked on the first try. Sometimes this transaction has uh, kicked up a bunch of errors. You just kind of have to spam it and retry over and over again. But it does work to name your chicken this way. Now that I've named my chicken, I'm going to jump over here uh, back to their main website where I've logged in already earlier uh, and go to find race and look for a chick race, which uh, is free to enter and I can enter my, chi my chicken in for the first race ever. Um, Here's one I found. I'm going to enter him in. It pops up MetaMask and I sign the transaction and now I'm waiting for this race to, to fill up. Uh, once it fills up, it'll jump over here uh, to the next screen over to the scheduled events. Uh, in a few seconds, this one should pop up since I just joined it and filled the race queue. Uh, if you're not the last person to enter, you can just, you know, join a race uh, and come back whenever you're ready. Uh, you don't have to catch the race when it's live, but you can, and then watch it live, which is really fun. Okay, so here you can see uh, the race that I entered is now shown up in uh, scheduled races, and the countdown is going down. Uh, you can see my chicken is sitting here in the lane, and once the countdown goes down, the race goes live, and you can click watch, and it brings up the interface, and here we can watch my chicken uh, race against all these other chickens, and hopefully he does well. Um, so this is the first race again. It's gonna determine which class he falls into, if my chicken doesn't do well here, that doesn't mean I have a shitty racer. It means that he doesn't do well on this particular type of track in this condition. So basically what I can do once I finish the race, I'll find out what ranking I'm in. So A, B, or C. Let's say if I get into uh, C ranking, I'll then be able to look for other races in C and start entering him to different races where there's different tracks like pavement, maybe there's a grass race. Maybe there's the gravel race and I'll see how my chicken fares on all the different terrain. And then I'll keep in mind how long each race is too. Maybe my chicken does really well in shorter races and starts to lose stamina by in longer races. So kind of try to keep track of all the different races you enter your chicken into and how, how well your chicken does to figure out what the best races are for you to enter to try to get a win. Currently, my guy's running pretty hard, but I'm not in the front yet. The first, second, and third place finishers will get paid out. Since nobody had to put an entry fee into the chick races, they're, they're going to get paid out from the prize pool put up by the game. But in the future, every game beyond the chick race will require a little bit of a cost, and then the winners get paid out, always first, second, and third. Currently, it looks like I'm bringing up the middle. Again, not the worst thing. It just means that maybe this isn't the type of terrain my chicken likes to race on, and it gives me the chance to now find out what the terrain I should be racing on is. So once you've finished your chick race, you can uh, click up here to results, and you should find the race results from the race you just ran. And there you go. You can see we placed in eighth. Not the best, but, you know, he's, uh, he's still got a long career ahead of him, so he'll be all right. So now when I go back to my coop and I can click on the details, I can see he's now been assigned into a league and it's B. So now to continue finding out how well my chicken runs, I'm going to look into the schedule races and join B class races. Okay, here we are on open sea for chicken derby. And if you haven't already gotten a chicken, you can pick one up for below the minting price right now. Minting price was 0 0.04. So it's currently 0 0.03. And uh, the main thing that you can 
look for is this perfection score. If we expand on this, the higher the perfection score, the more guaranteed your chicken is to run. So at base level, before you factor in any other factors, for like what type of terrain your chicken likes to run on or what type of weather conditions or any distance or any of that stuff, before you factor any of that in, a chicken with 90% perfection score will always lose to a chicken with 91. And a chicken with 91 should always lose to a chicken with 92. So the more perfect the chicken is, the more likely it is to win, uh, given that all other aspects of the conditions are the same. So if you click on any chicken, you can always check in the properties, uh, and then the level is what the perfection score is. So this one is 90 out of 100, and for the current NFTs existing in this game, 90 is the lowest, but as new NFTs come through the breeding, when that comes online, 90 should no longer be the lowest, but 90 is the lowest of the Genesis chickens. Now, once you've run your Genesis race, uh, and you've been assigned into a pecking order, the way that that works is if we come over here, you can see that the every chicken starts with a uh, what they call pecking order points, POP, based on the uh, heritage of the chicken as well as the perfection score. So you can see if you have a chicken that is a sultan with a perfection score of 95, for example, then 55 would be the base level POP uh, that that chicken has on its very first race. So the reason that this matters is that 55, you can see here based on this color coding, you're kind of in the lower end of, you know, this darker red color, which is basically that pecking order level. So the lower you get your score, the lower ranks you will be racing in. So you can see here, 10 to 29, you'll be racing in the C rank, 30 to 49, you'll be racing in the B rank, so when you're looking at this, you want to be at 29 to race well in the C rank, but if you get to 30, you'll be the lowest in the pecking order on the B rank. So if you want to keep that in mind when you're looking for which chicken you want to buy or which chicken you're looking to race, it might be not the worst idea to go with a 29 over a 30 because the 29 is going to be the top of the pecking order in the C range, while the 30 will be at the bottom of the order in the B range. So uh, you can see that these pecking order points are earned by your NFT every time you race based on what place you receive. If you get first place, you earn four more points. So you could have a, a chicken with a low starting pecking order point score and then build that order score up as you race and as you win. Same if you have a chicken with a, a high score just based on its base stats and you run it in a bunch of races and you lose, you can be deranked into lower pecking order races at which point you have a higher chance of winning with your base stats. So it should help to balance out the gameplay here. Again, the main part of the gameplay is gonna to be to figure out what terrain your chicken likes to run on, what distance your chicken runs best at, uh, what time of day, all of these factors. Uh, so looking through these uh, documents and finding out what are the factors that might affect your chicken and then keeping track of how your chicken runs when you race them is gonna be how you figure out which races to enter and which races will be most likely for your chicken to win. Uh, happy racing out there and uh, good luck. If you wanna race against some of us over at Neon Space, come join us on Discord and watch us stream. We'll race our chickens on stream sometimes too and uh, encourage people who are watching to join. So uh, hopefully join us and see you there.